Alright, hey guys, this is Computer Help Dude 94 and I'm going to show you how to control your Ubuntu on Windows using Type VNC. First thing you need to do is on your Windows is go to typevnc.com and it'll come up with this. So you're going to want to click on Download Now, go down to where it says Windows and I, it doesn't really matter which one you install but I always do that one and you let it download, it should download pretty fast, it's not a big file um, you can read all the stuff about it if you want uh, I don't particularly like to do that, I think it's kind of boring um, so then you wanna, you're gonna wanna run it it takes a second <coughs> sorry Yeah, then you're going to want to click run. And you're going to want to go through the installation. If you don't know how to install something, can't help you much. Um, you're going to want to agree to everything. And you're going to want the viewer and, and the server. So it'll automatically put both. And just install it. And I already had it, so I don't have to go through the installation. But it'll install and then you're going to want to exit out of your browser and then click on it all programs and it should be type VNC viewer you want to go to the viewer and then the next step is you want to go to your Ubuntu computer so I'm going to do that and here's you, your Ubuntu computer so you're going to want to go to the software center it'll be under the very bottom of your applications uh, and you're going to want the terminal server client and you're also going to want KF or KRFB those are the two things you're going to need to install and then once you install them uh, you're going to want to go down to KFRB and click new personal invitation and it will give you an IP address and a password. Uh, I don't know if you guys need the password, but I didn't need the password. I just needed the IP address. And um, you don't have to enter all of that. Uh, all you have to enter is the, I forget how many digits, but you don't. And then you go back and then you type that in. And then you click connect. And then back to Ubuntu, uh, it'll and it'll say another user is trying to view your desktop. You're gonna want to click Allow. So then back on your PC, it'll say initial loading, initial screen loading. Um, and if your my graphics card is better on my Ubuntu computer than it is on my Windows computer, um, so it's a little slow and I don't know about yours, just leave a comment below telling me if it's slow on yours too. So this is on my windows and I'm viewing and controlling my desktop on my windows computer and I'm controlling my Ubuntu computer remotely. You can also email the invitation if you want, if you're into that sort of thing. So yeah, you can do and enter full screen mode. It won't show the full screen, but so there you have it. And uh, I'll, I'll just show you guys what it can do and stuff. So, um, so uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe and follow me on Twitter, Computer Help D ninety four. Thanks. Bye.